Morning everybody. It's a Saturday morning. I've come to a place that I came two weeks ago when I recorded a video about um, taking shots of insects on these beautiful green weeds that we get at autumn in Okinawa. Now today I've come back with the express purpose of trying to get insects in flight shot using the Pro Capture. Now the Pro Capture is an amazing feature where you press the focus button and it starts recording shots, although you haven't taken a shot yet. It just puts it into the memory and then when the bird or the insect flies off, you fully press the shutter and then it records like a second before you actually pressed it. That makes no sense at all, I know. But basically, it means it's very good for birds or insects that are landing on flowers or perches or taking off flowers or perches. And I'm using it today purely to try and get butterflies, bees, wasps, dragonflies, whatever, in flight. Very difficult because there's lots of flowers and I have no idea where these very fast moving animals are going. Usually with a pro capture, you're, especially with a bird, you can set up a perch, the bird flies and there's a routine, there's food on the perch, the bird constantly flies there so you can focus on where the food is and the flight path and then when the bird goes you will then press the button and it'll get lots of sharp shots. With insects there's so many flowers I have no idea where they're going so it's much more of a guessing game. I'm handheld, I'm using the big focus box and I'm basically just trying to gauge, guess where the insect is then flying. There's no real pattern. Anyway, lots of missed shots of course but I am getting some keepers. Make sure once you do it, of course, Pro, Pro Capture takes so many shots. You do need a fast card. Make sure once you've taken it, have a quick look on the back of the big camera. And if you've missed focus, like I often do, delete those there and then, because otherwise the card will get filled up very quick and you won't be out here very long. But yeah, lots of fun. It's windy as it was before. In fact, that's shaking. <laughs> um, so yeah, that doesn't make it any easier, but just a fun way to try and get what is a really difficult type of photography in sex and flight. Now I was using the teleconverter and that meant I could get really close but of course the bird the insect would very quickly fly out of frame so I've taken the converter off because I've got a lot of light I've set it at 5,000th of a second shutter speed f7.1 I think auto ISO and I'm using the exposure compensation to slightly brighten it if it's a dark insect but because there's a nice light today 5,000th of a second I'm still getting ISO 1,800 or something which is fine so yeah let's see if I can get some more shots hope this wind chills out anyway thanks for stopping by Well, that was fun i can't believe it it's i've got 15 minutes to have to pick up my kids when i take photography time goes so fast two hours just goes like that anyway the wind has got so bad doing macro photography or this kind of photography in okinawa it's a nightmare there's always so windy okinawa is a very thin little island and there's always like some sea breeze going crazy going on so it's always windy so the windows where it's calm are very small but anyway, and the lights got too bright, but I think I've got enough shots, so let's go back to the computer at a later date, and let's have a look at what I've got. So here we are, back at the computer, almost exactly a month after the video you just watched. As I explained in my last video, but if you don't know, my computer died, basically, and I haven't been able to edit any photos or videos for about a month so here we are better late than ever I still wanted to put this video out because I think it's a type of photography that a lot of people are interested in but it's pretty difficult so therefore people are quite intimidated to even try this is where the pro capture is such a awesome feature because it makes it a lot easier to do now obviously because I've been doing this a long time I've also got some experience so not all these shots I'm going to share now I take with pro capture some of them were just firing off a load of shots hoping for the best getting a million misses but a couple of keepers anyway let's get straight into the shots so here is a tiny bee i'm not sure what the name was and this was with pro capture 
and I just focused on the uh, flower or a little bit in front of the flower and was hoping that the bee would go in the direction I wanted it to. Because there was nice light on this day, I was at ISO 800, but I was able to get a shutter speed of one five thousandth of a second at f4 on the Olympus 300mm f4 lens. Now, this sh kind of shutter speed is only doable on really sunny days. So I was lucky. And as I said, this is a tiny bee. So, but I'm kind of happy with this shot. Um, I got several in the sequence, but the wings are up. You can't totally freeze the wings. These things are so fast. But with this kind of image, the question that I have to do when I edit it is, do I want to crop the flower out and put, just focus on the bee as a flight shot or give it some context? And I think with this one, I actually edited it both, one with the flower and one without the flower. But anyway, so this would have been the Pro Capture, 50 frames a second. And I probably would have used the large box, I believe and hoped for the best next one i don't believe this was pro capture i think in this case i literally just fly, fired off a load of shots and expected to miss shots and i did but with pro capture you are wasting a lot of shots anyway so again this was f4 one five thousandth of a second iso 640 and i love the fact that it's trunk straw thingy you can see the curl there and it was flying towards a flower here and actually the flower wasn't in the frame here so i didn't have to crop it out but i got lucky with the wing position right here is a large black bee approaching the flower i think this probably was with pro capture and this was f 6.3 6 hundredths of a second exposure plus three iso 4000 obviously i put this through dxo and it clean, cleans up the noise really really nicely I've kind of undersaturated the background to make the background leaves and things less distracting as possible. But I like this shot. Again, this wouldn't have been possible without Pro Capture. These things are super fast. I have literally no idea in which direction they are going. So I've set my Pro Capture up, I think, to C1 custom button. And then I've set that custom button to the AE button I think on the back of the camera so I can even if I'm in aperture priority or manual mode just with the switch of that button on the back of the camera I'm instantly into Pro Capture do what I want to do with the Pro Capture and then press that AE button again on the back of the camera and I go back to what I was doing before super easy super practical the next one so here is I think it's a common blue bottle um, again this was Pro Capture the flower is just out of the frame on the right, and this was f5.6, I think this is probably with the teleconverter on actually, uh, 2500 for a second, exposure compensation plus 7, ISO 1000. And again, I like the wing position of this one, there were several other shots, this was the one I chose. I like the straw thingy, um, nice and prominent there, and you can see the antennas and the next one, this was a... Is that a Japanese hornet? Could be. I don't know. Again, flying away from the flower. This isn't super sharp, but I kind of liked it. Again, do I crop the flower out or leave it in? I left it in for context. F4, 5,000th of a second, plus 3 exposure, ISO 800. Again, I'm always going for that clear background. If it's a busy background, I won't choose those pictures. They'll get deleted initially. These kind of photos for me, the clear background is really important because I really want to focus on what I'm doing here is capturing insects in flight. And I don't want any distracting backgrounds. So on to the next one. Now this was another one in the sequence of the butterfly I took earlier. And this is my favorite shot from the day. I love the side profile. Um, I love the straw thingy all curled up. I'm not sure what the name, I should probably should do some research. But um, again, F4, 5,000th of a second, ISO 640th. Anyway, I love this shot. I love the pose. I love the clear background. Again, not sure this was pro capture. I think this was just firing off shots, trying to predict where it goes. But what a beautiful insect. I love those white things and that little bit of blue under the white marks on the wings. Lovely. And this is, I think, called a common Mormon. And I believe their wings mimic other butterflies and their colors change but far too complicated for me but yeah very beautiful 
Next one. This is not super sharp at all, but these things are tiny. It's a tiny moth, and they are so fast. And this shot would be impossible without pro capture. You just couldn't catch these things randomly on the wing. They're way too fast. So yeah, I did pro capture, focused at that pink flower, and then after it landed, I think I pressed the button and it captured the, the shot so that it had hovered around the flower. I think this might have been with the extender on f5.6, 1 2500th of a second, ISO 500. But to get any shot of these insects in flight is nigh on impossible. I've got a load of them posed on a flower and they're pretty. When you're on the flower, the wings are always up, so you never see those sort of iridescent colours on the back there. So yeah, not super sharp, but I mean to expect a shot like this to be super sharp of a tiny moth that flies a million miles an hour, I think it's, you know, a bit much. Anyway, just to finish off, it was a bee that sort of landed on a flower and I got my macro lens out. Again, not super sharp, but I love the light here. So not in flights, but just something to accompany the flight shot. So anyway, I got loads more shots, but I don't want to bore you with all of them. Anyway, I hope this helps and encourages you to get out there. If you have an Olympus or an OM-1 or even a G9, or I think a lot of other camera manufacturers are now implementing some kind of feature like the pro capture but it just makes this kind of photography which is so difficult without it more possible and it's a lot of fun and when you can get an image like um that butterfly one that i like it makes it all worthwhile anyway thank you so much for watching guys and please like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you on the next one bye